There's a new champion in the Bundesliga after 11 consecutive titles for Bayern Munich. Xabi Alonso has led Bayer Leverkusen to the top. In this video, we will analyze Bayer Leverkusen's season and the key factors that led to a new champion after such a long time. Let's start with the beginning, the transfer market, where some of the most important signings include Victor Boniface, Nathan Tella, Alejandro Grimaldo, Granit Xhaka, Jonas Hoffmann, among others. The majority of these players turned out to be absolutely crucial, which speaks highly of Leverkusen's sports planning. Among the departures are also big names that seem difficult to replace, such as Moussa Diaby, Karim Demirbay, and Karim Bellarabi. To complete the squad, we must add the players who were already there before the market and were important, such as Lucas Radecki, Tapsoba, Jonathan Ta, Robert Andrich, Ezequiel Palacios, Jeremy Frimpong, Florian Wirtz, and many more. This is how Sabi Alonso's squad was assembled before the season began. Undoubtedly, we knew many of them were great players, but no one imagined they could reach such a high level of play. Bayer Leverkusen showed great ability to suffer and come back in matches throughout the season, which was definitely one of the keys to winning the Bundesliga. They gave us a warning in match day four of the Bundesliga, after winning a hard-fought match against RB Leipzig and facing Bayern Munich, the reigning champions and favorites, to continue their streak of consecutive titles. In this match, Bayer Leverkusen managed to secure an important away draw with a penalty goal in the last minutes. In fact, at the time of recording this video, there have been eight matches where Bayer Leverkusen were losing or drawing and managed to change the result by scoring a goal in the 90th minute or later. But the most frequent face of Bayer Leverkusen is dominating matches and comfortably defeating their opponents. In fact, Granit Xhaka, Ezequiel Palacios, and Piero Hincapi are among the top five players with the highest average passes per 90 minutes in the Bundesliga. And Florian Wirtz is the player who makes the most deep attacks per 90 minutes. Granit Xhaka and Ezequiel Palacios appear again as the players who make the most passes into the final third of the field. This tells us that Bayer Leverkusen is a team that seeks to dominate matches, press high up the pitch, and when they lose the ball, they regain possession quickly. Another tactical aspect of the team is the importance of the wingbacks in managing the game. Bayer Leverkusen plays with a back three, which gives freedom to the wingbacks, usually Grimaldo and Frimpong. Depending on the match, these fullbacks either widen or narrow the game. When the opponent marks man-to-man, -man, they usually widen to break the opponent's position. They also get into the opponent's area a lot, which is reflected in the statistics of both players, with many goals and assists compared to other fullbacks or wingbacks. The star of the team is possibly Florian Wirtz, who enjoys freedom in positioning and feeds the forward. Ideally Boniface, who, if fit, is one of the team's top scorers as of the recording of this video, tied only behind Grimaldo. That's it for the video. Later, once the season is over, if you want, we can make another one delving into more tactical aspects and important matches in particular. This video will be released after the match against Borussia Dortmund. We'll see if Bayer Leverkusen maintains their undefeated streak. Also, leave a comment if you think they can win the Pokal, as they're already in the final, and the Europa League, where they're in the semifinals, if I'm not mistaken. And that wraps it up for today. We hope you've enjoyed our analysis of Bayer Leverkusen's season and the keys that led to this exciting outcome in the Bundesliga. Don't forget to leave your comments about your impressions and expectations for the team's future. See you in the next video. Until then.